Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to go ahead and review this mini security camera. Uh, the link for this is right below on the Amazon uh, site that you can buy this from. Uh, this is about $36 to $40 on Amazon. Um, it is made in China, as you can see. Uh, just when you get the box, um, it's a pretty small box. As you can see here, it's about, uh, about four inches. Uh, about four inches by three inches um, with here. Um, on the very back has got some specs for you. Uh, you can see there the video code in as well as the uh, resolution ratio, the frame rate, and the image of proportion as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this for you guys so you can see exactly how this arrives once you order it. So today I'll be reviewing this for three very basic things. Uh, fitness, how well does this work? Form, what it looks like, how does it fit in your hand? How does it fit where you want to put it? And as well as function, how does it work? All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this for you guys so we can see what's in it. So immediately when you open it, it's in a sort of plastic container here. It's all wrapped and there's the back uh, box here and put that to the side in the box we have our manual and here we are it's now going over the instruction manual here it's pretty basic it's got product information it's got your packing list as well as some basic information uh, for you as well um, looking at it, it looks pretty sturdy, so we'll go ahead and get to the actual package itself. We'll put this to the side. In the, uh, the first thing that we do have in the box is our mountain bracket. So this is the bracket, so I guess you put this on something and then sort of lift it and screw it in. So that's the bracket, that's number one. Second thing we do have in here is our clip. And it's pretty self-explanatory. And it seems like the clip just goes on here somewhere, but we'll put that to the side. And I have the ruler here just so you guys see exactly how big these are. Uh, number three, we do have the, uh, the sling. And I think this is our sling. It's in a little baggie. We're gonna take it out. And that's our sling. It's pretty long. Uh, it's about 13 inches. So I guess you can fit this around your neck if you wanted to. Uh, the fourth uh, item listed is of course the instruction manual. Uh, the fifth item listed is our card reader. So the card reader, open here, it's the standard USB 2.0. With these magnets, you can basically mount this onto something um, metallic. So a car or something in your room or your bathroom, if that's where you want to put this. But there are about uh, two, three magnets in here. So it's a lot of different places you can mount this itself. Uh, the next thing in here after your magnets, uh, you do have your camera lens. So let's go ahead and find our camera lens. This is our magnet. It's very small. And these, looks like, are the camera lenses. So are very polarized camera lenses. You just put them on the very front end of your camera. Now let's get to the main event itself, the actual camera. The camera itself is very small. This is the front uh, end of the camera with the lenses on here. And I'll put this on the ruler so you guys can see how small or large it is. And it's not even an inch. It's a pretty small uh, cube. 
Uh, it's close to about an inch on every side, so, uh, and this is exactly where your lens would go on your camera, right there. And it's polarized, so that way the actual things here, I don't know what these are, they're not damaged. And then you have your charging cable. Uh, charging cable goes here to charge the camera. I did say that the, uh, the camera is a little dead when it arrives, so you have to charge it for a few hours uh, to really get, the, uh, get it to be working. Now here is where you put the mini SD card, and it does not come with mini SD card, so you need to have that as well in order to uh, do some recording um, for this camera. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test the camera, all right? Um Just looking at it, it's very, very light. It's not heavy at all, probably less than an ounce. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put a camera lens on there. The camera lenses are a little sticky, so once you pull it off, you see that it almost looks like a, a space telescope like mirror. So you take that off and you attach it to the lens itself, and that's what your camera looks like. I mean, I think someone would notice that this was somewhere and they'd say, oh, well, it, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a camera recording me, but uh, I could be wrong. Um, so the buttons on this, this is your mode button. So it tells you with this, and look at that fall off. So, um, so this button gives you your mode, um, so you can go from videos to pictures. This is for on and off. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just rate like uh, on form right now. On form, I'll give this like a, uh, about a seven out of 10. I think it's very perfect. Like it's small, um, not very noticeable, something exactly like you'd want. Just based on form alone, I think I would give this camera about a seven out of 10. It's perfect size, it fits in your hand. If you wanted to, you could put it in somewhere not very noticeable and no one would know that it was there unless they specifically went looking for this camera. Like I said, if you buy this camera, you need to have the mini SD card. Um, and that, if you don't have that, that's something else you have to buy. Um, this little lens mirror, it's a little hard uh, to stay on there. So that's something you're gonna have to contend with as well. Um, as you can see, I just put it on and just going like this, it falls off. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. I've tried both sides already and immediately falls off. So that's a negative there for this camera. As far as uh, form, like I said, seven out of 10. Uh, fitness for use, um, being that it's really hard to tell when the camera's on, um, I'm gonna give this camera a five out of 10. And then uh, function, function, uh, it's really hard to tell if you haven't used it, what's on and what the modes are. Uh, the, I guess, instruction manual is pretty vague. Uh, it gives you a few a few insights and a few instructions, but you just sort of have to learn the camera by itself. And looking at the footage itself, uh, because it's pretty good footage, I'm um, gonna have to give it, uh, bump it up to a six for fitness. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you would, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll have a lot more reviews of products coming up. Remember, the link for this is right down below. Subscribe to my channel um, and tell me if you have something that you'd like me to review, and I'll have the review for you up as soon as I can, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.